Thanks for staying with us. Uh, let's bring you some more news now. The former IPL commissioner may be scripting his own end if he fails to um, come for the summons and appear for the summons that's been sent out by the Chennai Central Crime Branch. The body of the Chennai City Police has now decided to send the second summons to Lalit Modi to appear before it for an investigation. The CCB will decide on the date after the 7th of this month. Just last month, the CCB had summoned seven people, including Modi, to appear before them between the 3rd and the 7th of January following the complaint filed by BCCI's Secretary N. Srinivasan. Yesterday, one of the accused in the case, Kunal Das Gupta, appeared before the crime branch and was grilled for almost eight hours. And the Commissioner of Police, Greater Chennai T. Rajendran, spoke to us and told us more about the ongoing investigation and what the department plans to do next. The, we had issued uh, summons to seven people in the BCCI case, including uh, Lalit Modi. And uh, six of those summons have been accepted and Lalit Modi's uh, summons has been returned as refused. And we have given various dates for the for these seven people. One of them has appeared, Mr. Kunal Dabs Gupta. As regards people who do not appear in compliance with the summons, we'll wait and see for the next 10 days how many people are appearing. And uh, we will take action against uh, all of them who don't appear under Section 172 IPC before the court. Based on what these people reveal to us, and if necessary, we might have to call other people also, apart from these seven people. Well, moving uh, on to the tennis courts uh, and updates from the Chennai Open that's on in this city. The first test may have been a walkover for Bopanna and Qureshi at the Chennai Open, but the second went into a tie-breaker when the Indo Park Express pulled off some spectacular shots to walk off with a victorious 6-3-7-6 score. It has been a mixed bag in the last two days for Indian players in Chennai and it was a complete washout in the singles though with the Indian players crashing out in the very first round but Leander Pace and Mahesh Bhupati showed what a power-packed pair they can be once again. The Indo Park Express registered their thrilling victory over Wawrinka and Dancevic to enter the second round. Well, moving to the cricket field, what a day it's been for Jacques Callas. The man who was injured and could not ball or field in the first innings played a match-saving knock of 109 runs in the second innings. It's his second test uh, ton in the match and uh, came at a time when his team needed it the most. At the end of the fourth day, uh, South Africa sits pretty at top. The Proteus have set a target of 340 runs for India. It would be interesting to see how India goes for a draw or whether goes on to win that final match. Much will depend on the Indian dashing opener, Virinder Sehwag. Yeah, I think if it was going to... really. Well, moving to our special Margri package for you today, sending young children to learn music or even dance is an enduring tradition in our culture. But all too soon, children hit the road, uh, crossroads and when they reach the higher classes in school, that is. So shouldn't it be academic pursuit or performing arts then? A tough call, but quite a few manage to strike a balance these days, says our reporter Divya Kumar. <laughs> As Manasuni starts off the show with a kautpam on Narayana in Nattai Ragam, there is no sign of nerves. After all, this is the 75th performance of the class 11 student. The audience is left spellbound and silently applauds her. We didn't face that problem at all because she was very good in studies also and her guru also supported her very much and uh, moreover she is very passionate about dance so why should we stop that so there is no problem at all there is no difference between education and uh, dance so I, I want her to take a uh, dance as a career so we don't want to stop anything for uh, dance <laughs> Chennai may be the cultural hub, but unless parents and teachers give the right kind of encouragement, students say they can't do justice to both the fields and they might have to sacrifice one for the other. Now I'm in 11th standard and I have been learning dance for the past 10 years and uh, this is my 75th show and uh, all these have happened uh, 
is because it is all because of my teacher and I have to thank her and as well as my parents. Yeah, I'm going to take this as my profession. Rich costumes, soul-stirring art, which can transport the audience to a higher plane and a receptive audience. These are the elements which make Margari what it is today. And for it to continue and throw up more and more fresh talent, youngsters say they need to be allowed the freedom to choose what to focus upon and when for a fulfilling life. In Chennai, with reporter Divya Kumar, Kuku Alex for NDTV Hindu. <laughs> And on that foot tapping note, we end this bulletin from the crew here on the Late Night News team and me. Thanks for watching. Good night.